Yo, what's up, guys? I wasn't, uh... I wasn't gonna stream today. Um... But why not? I got something new. I got Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. I, you know... I'm down with the Sniper games. I'm cool with that, so... Uh... I figured you'd be a good one to play. So... Uh, forgive me, I'm trying to, uh... Sign into my other phone here real quick. And uh we'll get going. Got the green screen going today, so I feel good about that. Da da dum. Da 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 da. So how's y'all's days been so far? My day has been just fine. I uh went snowboarding yesterday. Had the day off, decided not to stream. Uh, went snowboarding, and um, today I found an old set of snowboarding bindings um, that not only look really good, but they feel really good too. They're uh, ride bindings. Um, they're mostly like aluminum too. So, all right, let's see here. So, but yeah, hi, Chuck Charleston here. Um, yeah, for some reason, my, my phone won't connect to the friendly Wi-Fi that I have in my house now. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, so I got a bunch of DLCs. I got a bunch of add-on stuff. This is the first time... I'm opening it up on my PlayStation. Okay. 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 Barely visible. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Okay. I take it it is auto saving right now. <laughs> All right. Game. Greetings, Raven. Thank you for accepting this commission, and welcome to Kuamar. For the past 20 years, it has been controlled by two people, President Omar al-Bakr and his wife, Bibi Rashida. Their regime is both cruel and brutal, but we saw no reason to interfere. Till now. We have actionable intel Kuamar is planning an offensive against a neighboring state. A war here is unacceptable. It will disrupt the whole region, inflating global oil prices. The conflict was triggered by the assassination of President al-Bakr. His wife has taken power, but her grip is weak. Some within her government resent both her gender and Western education. However, she's supported by a close network of warlords. They provide troops and weaponry to warlords. Russia, reinforcing her control and preventing open revolt. The regime is financed by the hacker and crypto anarchist Lars Hellstrom. Wanted Lars by Hellstrom. multiple agencies, he threatens governments, rigs elections, and holds corporations to ransom. Together, they are the masterminds behind this offensive. We need you to shut them all down. We also have a friendly in country, Taj Tahir, a journalist and the son of one of Russia's few political opponents. He disappeared after being arrested on espionage charges. Find him. Kumar's terrain is both arid and mountainous, so getting close to a target may not be possible. We know you're a long shot specialist, so this shouldn't be a problem. Your new gear should help, especially the prototype visor. It has an enhanced battlefield display and a direct comms link to me. Rashida and her allies Whoa. cannot be allowed to ignite the region. Her war must be stopped. I'll be in touch. I'll be in touch. Okay. So I I'm going to admit I haven't played the first one. Um and so the visor thing looks new. Um I wonder if it's uh I wonder if it's anything like um Hitman or um what's the other one? Sniper Elite that I play where you can tag enemies and where you have like 
binoculars and like all that kind of stuff, maybe. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you can upgrade your mask. Support and stealth. That's, that's cool as shit. Cost, and of course I don't have anything. <laughs> drone so can I use my drone on stuff well that's neat journal okay okay so these are all my tutorials then I guess so my, let's see I know I'm gonna have to do this hang on let me uh Oops. Let's see. For, yep. 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 I'm, I'm different. I require backward stuff. I grew up playing PlayStation with mostly like airplane games. So that's what I got used to playing with. So now anytime that I ever have to play, I'm always... Um, Inverting my stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Uh, oops. Dang it. Start contract. All right. Contract details. Okay. Okay, so this is like the tutorial type. Play without punishment, fun and engaging. Spend the mechanics of weight, compelling enemies, and enjoyable challenges. Play your own way. Red Dot Aim Helper is available. Should we go sharpshooter release? Special skills and test engage with accessible sniping mechanics. Balance enemies, interesting challenges. Red Dot Aim Helper is unavailable by default. Can be switched on in settings. Um. What is this? Ready for challenging sniper mechanics, dangerous enemies, and demanding challenges. Only veterans can apply. I'm gonna go with... This is the realistic sniping mechanics. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I'll go sharpshooter. Sounds like a challenge. How's the heat there, Raven? It's time to get familiar with your weapons and gear. The tactical visor we supplied provides a live feed from your scope. It's equipped with an advanced combat display. You'll be able to scan terrain as well as tag and track hostiles. We've also given you some extra tools. We'd prefer it if you didn't break them. We'd prefer, prefer if you didn't break them. On our live fire range. Once you're happy, we can move on to the mission itself. It's funny that so many... Uh game developers are starting to implement drones a lot more. I mean, why not? It's it's the future, right? Shit. If I had a little pocket drone that I could use to... Shit. Man, I'd be causing so much havoc. Guaranteed. Training rifle ahead by the OP. Pick it up and let's begin. Roger that control. Pick up rifle. It's the same. Let's see. Crouch up. Walking. Okay. So it's the same type of mechanics as like Call of Duty. Uh, I feel like that needs to be quicker. make it 70 see what happens there uh. 
Oops. Let's make it 65. Oops. Yeah, that's better. One more time. All right, let's see, pick up. Okay, press and hold. Take a prone position to stabilize your switch on your binocular display to enable hostile tags. Press left for just binocular. Tag the target straight ahead, you 12 o'clock. Tagging hostiles will give you their range and keep track of their movements. Your scope also allows you to measure range to targets. Go to glass and see for yourself. The upper left quadrant in your scope is a rangefinder. The target's height on that scale indicates their distance from you. It'll change according to your zoom ratio. Focus on your... Measuring distance. Find a target's distance by tapping through binoculars or using tagging bullet. But sometimes it's easier to do this with your rifle scope. All scopes have a fixed scale in meters. Okay. Try to position a standing enemy in a way, okay, that his height fits exactly between the scale's lines. You can read the enemy's distance there. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. Breathe. Splash I like that. Target. Aim for the head. Let's see, L3 to stabilize. And squeeze. Hit. Go for the next one. Next target, your 12, 300 meters. I know you're used to doing the maths for range, wind speed, and direction in your head, but we've saved you some time. Good. Raven, find your next target. Adjusting your Ooh. scope to target's range will improve accuracy. I've marked okay. the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 400. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim up or down to compensate for the distance and bullet drop. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Squeeze. That's a miss. Oh. Double check your okay. The elevation setting needs to match the marked range to target. Okay. Well, it's at 400, so. Nope, that's not it either. It's the it's the yellow dot. I know it. Nope, I'm keep shoot keep shooting over him. Why do I keep shooting over him? What the heck? Okay. Interesting. Is it like bugging out on me or something? Good. Splash Weird. Now. That, what of ammo. what the fuck was that about? Needed. I know you're a marksman, but use your binoculars to tag hostiles before taking the shot. It'll give you distance to target to zero your scope. I gotta get used to doing smoother transitions with my looking around. This game is really fucking cool so far. Maybe I should turn my sensitive sensitivity down a little bit more. I mean, 